This program is brought to you by Stanford University. Please visit us at stanford.edu. The numbers that we have for 2007 indicate that in that particular year we had an estimated uh, 33.2 million people infected and, and over 2 million people died uh, of, of the disease. These are significant numbers. When you think about all the things that we focus attention and resources on, um, these kinds of numbers for me and I think most people uh, call out for uh, more action, more attention, more effort. And so that's why I think the ProStraten story is an exciting one uh, because it, it's the next chapter in a story and a strategy that has been unfolding over a period of roughly 20 years right now. And the, the, the ability to make this molecule and to make like molecules really uh, opens up a field of opportunities to more fully explore uh, what's going to be possible with this, this new strategy uh, for uh, AIDS research. But I think the numbers are, uh, in my mind, uh, highly significant. When you think about all the things that we worry about, uh, those numbers you just can't leave. And if, if you then put a face to the numbers, uh, not just looking at the numbers, but understand that in, in certain parts of the world, particularly in sub-Saharan Africa, we have children who are raising children because their parents have died of complications associated with HIV AIDS. I don't think there's a person on this planet who wouldn't be moved to try to do whatever he or she can um, to address that problem. The preceding program is copyrighted by Stanford University. Please visit us at stanford.edu.